the other socially enforced gender norm that plays into the challenges of leaving a nice guy is that women are still being given the message that our greatest value is our ability to care for and to nurture others. So, I'll... Uh, your greatest value is your youth and fertility, and then your ability to nurture and care for others. Be for myself that when I let myself know that I'd outgrown my marriage and that in order to pursue my own happiness, I... You notice, again, whenever we cover these women who divorce their husbands, it's always the same story, isn't it, guys? Me, me, me. I needed to take care of me. I needed to fulfill my own happiness. I needed to pursue my own goals. You know, when you marry somebody, um, sorry, as they say, for better or worse, right? And she is claiming she left a nice guy. A nice guy. You found a guy who was good to you, right? Found a guy that loved you for you. It wasn't just about sex. He fell in love with you. He invested his life with you. He wanted to live out the rest of his days with you. Uh, but you don't value that because you need to take care of you, me, me, me. Always the same story. Selfish, 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 selfish. Had to leave a really decent man. No, you didn't. It mess with me because... It should. It seemed like a very uncaring thing to do. It and was. I was also telling myself that it was kind of a selfish thing to do. Absolutely. To, do that to, to my husband and to my kids, and I knew it was going to, you know, obviously affect the whole family. But screw them, it's about me. I knew it was going to affect the family. I knew it was going to hurt the kids and affect their childhood and give them PTSD. But you know what? It's about me. I got to take care of me. This, this, uh, you know, this is just sad uh, how these, these women can't even get past themselves long enough to just think that, hey, you know, once you get married and you have kids, it's no longer about you. It's about the family, right? And I just talked about my dad recently, um, how he told me that. He was like, if you ever become a husband and a father, you know what? It's your duty to work things out with your wife, right? You chose her. It's your duty to work things out with her because it's no longer about you, it's about the family, right? It's about you guys. It's no longer about you. So when I see these, especially at her age, man, give me a break, right? I mean, this chick is closing in on 60 years old and you have to have like I just a high level of self-confidence or over overconfidence to think you can get back out there and replace this husband of yours who was a quote unquote nice guy and find somebody who is going to treat you equally as good and not just use you as a plastic F doll, right? And get used and abused, which is going to happen to her now, right? It's so sad. This chick should be a grand, I mean, she's basically a grandma, right? And here she is on the dating apps, like a, uh, you know, like a 20 year old and she's going to get ran through by all these random dudes who could care less about her, aren't nice guys like her ex-husband, aren't going to ever invest in her, they're definitely never going to marry her, could care less what her kids' names are, all right, just going to use and abuse her. Very, very sad. And, you know, most of us do care as well what people think, so just know that then... Uh, what a rotten mom. Can we talk about the man that didn't want to give up so easily? The man that pushed away his ego and did everything yep. he could the moment he realized his relationship was crumbling. The man that took all of the blame, which made him feel at his lowest, Thank you. just for the chance to fix the relationship. Because even though he wasn't happy, he just wanted to have the chance to fix it. Because he wanted to. He wanted to make her happy, which in turn he thought would make him happy. That's all he wanted. And that is the case for so many men, right? So many men are just trying to make the relationship work. They just want the family to stay intact. They're willing to do, how many times have you heard a guy say, honey, babe, 
I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I'll change. I'll do whatever you want. You, you guys, you probably given that speech yourself, right? We all have at some point until we learn, right? But uh, you, you only hear ever hear guys giving that speech. Like, honey, I'll change. I'll do whatever you want, whatever it takes. Have you ever heard of a woman like going to a, the, the husband going, honey, don't leave. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll change. Uh, you know, whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. I'll be your slave. No, the woman's always mostly like these modern women who are divorcing their husbands. Like, I needed, you know, I know we have a family, kids, and we have a you know, family dog. <sighs> we have the perfect marriage, but you know what? I, I, I need to go fulfill my happiness. I need to go find what I want to do. I need to take care of me. I need to go make sure that I'm feeling fulfilled. Yeah, it's always about them. It's just so narcissistic, man. It's so selfish and narcissistic. All right, one more. So you were with a man that you've known and you've seen him grow from high school to 27. He married you. Yep. Put you in a position that you did not have to work. You had three children, yet you decided to divorce and go elsewhere. And then you want to talk about how you struggled to be something. See, that's where it all comes in place. Nobody's going to give you credit for struggling. You chose it. I agree. Like I said, I was young. No, ma'am. And see, this is the part. Now, here's, the, here's, the, here's why this is here's why this is relevant. I need a lot of ladies like yourself. Some of you don't deserve a second chance. Absolutely okay. true. I'm sorry to tell you this. That's where a lot of men think. A lot of okay, a lot of men will hear that and say, "Wait a minute, you found a good man. He married you. He sat you down. You had three children, and you divorced him for no good reason." Yep. And you think you deserve to go? No, no. Listen, I'm telling you how men are going to hear this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, he's Kevin is totally right here. It's like so many of these modern women. Like, imagine telling your story to the next guy. Maybe it might be an, uh, may, it might be that you know it might be that guy who is at least willing to date you or any guy who thinks about dating you and you tell him what you did to the last guy who was nice to you gave you the world treated you like a queen married you had kids with you and you you divorced him for being nice what's gonna run through your head if you met a woman like that fellas if you met a woman who was married for so long and had nothing but nice things to say about her husband and said, I just divorced him and walked away the family because I got to take care of me. I got to take care of me. You would be like, man, this chick's a selfish prick. Right? These women just have no introspection whatsoever. They have no self-reflection. It's just like, no, but, but me. Me, me, me. Or do you not want to hear it? I'm this is how men are going to hear this. I married my high school sweetheart almost 10 years after college, after high school. I did not have to work. He took care of everything. All I had to do was be the wife and have babies when he took care of it. But that still wasn't good enough. I divorced him. Then I had to go out and struggle on my own. Yeah. Now I look back and say I was young and dumb. Most men are going to say, you don't deserve a second chance. I'm right. not saying that. I'm just telling you that's what a lot of men are going to hear. That is absolutely true. Because you had the best, you had more than 75% of black women can ever get, a husband. And you had a husband paying all the bills. And you threw it what all away. What more do you want? So most guys are going to be like, I'm not going, I'm not going to volunteer to, to, to deal with her. Yep. Because here's the, here's the, here's the rounding, let me round it all the way home. Because what's to say if I decide to deal with her? And I'm with her for 10 years like a high school sweetheart. Right. Then all of a sudden, when I need her to be around, and I'm 40, and now I'm 60, she gonna be around and she gonna throw me away too. See, the way you guys handle me, what you do with me, tells a lot, you know, tells me a lot about what you gonna be like with them. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I always think of it like a job too, right? It it's lot, it's like these, these chicks like going to a job interview and then you know, with a, a great company, and then the interviewer going, uh, "What happened to your last job?" And she she goes, "Well, I was. They gave me everything I wanted: benefits package, four hundred one k, company car, expense account, six figure salary, free housing. Oh, it was beautiful. How was your boss? Oh, he was lovely. He did it. He he gave me everything I wanted. 
Why did you leave that job? It sounds so perfect. Why did you leave? Because, you know, something inside of me was not being fulfilled. Something inside of me just felt like I needed more. Okay? I, I wasn't being fulfilled. I wasn't happy. You know, that, that interview is going to look at you like, all right, well, if, that, if they can't make you happy, I don't think I can either. So <laughs> maybe you should just keep run along, run along, scoot, scat like a rat. As always, gentlemen, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video, these ridiculous women divorcing their husbands after decades you know, for being too nice, being too good for them, treating them too well. Drop your comments below. Let me know. Do you think they'll ever find love again? <laughs> I know the answer, but drop the comments below. As always, this is M from The 33 Secrets signing out. Don't forget to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and smash that notification bell for me as well. It helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. And if you guys want to support my work and everything you're learning here, the best way to do that is just jump into 7 Months of Mastery Sun, where I'm teaching guys like you how to go out there and cold approach the youngest, hottest, most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about 8s, 9s, and 10s. I teach you how to do that in 7 Months of Mastery. And again, it's the best way to support my work. Uh, and right now, it's only a buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons from me. So take advantage of it. All you need to do is click the link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. Just takes two seconds. Do that now, and I'll see you in my next coaching video. I'm out.